Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tankfro and welcome back to another episode of ExileCraft. And I believe we're actually in episode 16 already. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. And yes, you can see we're just making our way down this new part of town which we built last episode. But I have gone ahead and given it a little bit more detail. So some wheat and farms over there, you know, some like stalls with furnaces. And we've even got this like um, flower market which I've made over here um, yeah I've actually really fallen in love with using these uh, trap doors as like little miniature tables that we can have and yeah I'm pretty happy with it if we go in here we can find this like secret peony garden which I think you know adds that bit of detail even though you can't directly see it and yeah we're just keeping the lore of um, the berry bushes kind of being an invasive species that shouldn't really be here so we've just thrown them all around and yeah, if we just make our way back here, we'll just have some crates and barrels. And oh yeah, since we have our um, iron farm over there, which gives us iron for, like, <laughs> for zero work, we can actually use anvils as a pretty cheap decoration. So I'm pretty happy about that. Pretty good investment, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, you know, more like back alley stuff over here too. We can actually go here, even though it looks like you can't. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm very happy with um, all the little bits of detail that we're adding to this build and yeah I'm quite happy with it um, Oh, yeah, I completely forgot to mention um, That's a completely new build. Yeah, so if we go in here, it's a bit of like um, a blacksmith if you will So we just have some love in the back and I want you guys to take note Okay, if we enter in here, it's all quite dark You know, we got the spruce the stripped spruce logs and all that but then if we enter or sorry if we exit the build is very much lighter than all the other builds so yeah I felt like that contrast was actually really cool and I'm quite happy with it out here we are using the miniature blocks which I have fallen in love with um, just to complement like the pile of logs that we have here and yeah I think that adds like a really nice touch and again using some of that green wool for a bit of a stall oh yeah which reminds me I completely forgot to show you guys last episode um, yeah we filled this Part out so I asked you guys that episode what we should do here what are you doing here buddy you're a long way from shore uh, anyway yeah <laughs> I, I asked you guys what we should add here and I got a lot of good um recommendations so yeah I ended up going with this almost like a fish stall right so again using those trapdoors is a very nice um, floor design so quite like that and over here we're using those um, barrel designs that we do with the glowstone just to give it some lighting and yeah I'm very very happy with it and yes you probably saw that while we were flying we have a new airship and this one is a bit different from the other one that we have over there because it's a I don't know medical ship if you will so that means we're definitely gonna have to make like a hospital or something along those lines maybe even an air base like a military air base um, that would require like those health units to go out in airships however what I have planned for this episode is to look back towards um, the docks that we were doing and to be more concise to actually um, refine the gates right so we made the gates last episode but we didn't add any walls we didn't add any like uh, designs like on the outside or anything that actually gave it life so that's kind of what I want to do to start this episode off go back and revisit the gates okie dokie so as we hop our way over here um, yeah, just wanted to show you guys this. I've kind of started planning out where I want the new paths to go and actually made this new path over here. Ooh, Wandering Trader, what do you have, buddy? Let me see. Okay. Oh, I definitely need some of those. I have to get some emeralds then. Um, yeah, and some packed ice. These are actually the new textures from the update 1.15, I believe. Um, but yeah, also, you might notice that the walls are... A little bit different than how we originally built them right so when we built them we made two towers on like either side with like a flag on top but I didn't quite like how that looked so I decided to take them off and this is what we're left with so let me know down in the comments whether you like them more with the towers or more without 
Honestly, I'd be fine with building them again, but I feel like this is slightly better, but I'm not 100% sure. And yeah, you can see for the walls, we kind of did the very same design that we had over here, right? So using those upside down staircases and whatnot. And yeah, the walls are just really extremely simple. And I have some ideas for how they would look on the inside, because as you can see right now, you just have them hanging out like that. Um, so I'm also thinking of like reinforcing it with like oak logs and whatnot. I saw this really interesting design on the internet and I wonder if we can kind of make our take on it and uh, see how that looks. However, let's get into a time lapse to kind of give this area a little bit more detail and life um, just to see how that could look. Okie dokie guys, and there we go. I know I messed up that time lapse, which kind of sucks, so we only got the trees, right? And again, I use those trees simply so that I don't need to go and replace all the grass here with um, pods all, right? So just growing those trees is what does it for me. Um, but yeah, so we kind of got this path all nice and done with the similar style that we've been using on the industrial area over here. And we've kind of, well, again, uh, kept the style of like the rocks and the roses and the leaf blocks and all of that all over here Now we did do something special over here, right? So we have like a bit of like a, a market if you will, right? So these are the entrances the ports are right there So it would make sense for people to just kind of set up shop like right over here, right? So I know that the colors are very monotone So I think I might mix in like some blue with gray, you know some of this cyan with like green or something like that um, just to give it a little bit of life and again like we don't have any lanterns or pressure plates or pots and roses and over here um, so there's definitely still some work to be done here um, but yeah I like where this is going now there is one thing I want to show you guys um, which I completely forgot about last episode. So let's go and see what that is. Okay, so while I was um, excavating, right, the uh, big hole for a creeper farm, which is underneath the citadel, um, right over here, you might have noticed that there was this light over here, right? And that is because I dug into this huge cave system, right? And this is all naturally generated, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, just the sheer size of it is like pretty impressive. I mean, could you imagine having to mine all this out? Um, now, I have gone ahead and lit it all up. So yes, kudos to me. And there is not a single creeper hole, right? So I managed to light this up because this was infested with like... Um, all sort of baddies um, and yeah no creepers blew up so I'm really proud of that now I feel like we could totally do something in here cuz I don't know it's just so big and ominous like maybe like an excavation site for like an ancient uh, civilization maybe that was here before um, or something like <laughs> interesting like that just to give it a little bit of lore uh, but yeah I don't know why I didn't notice this giant hole because I actually went over here and covered it all up if you guys remember um, but it was definitely a little bit hidden, so I guess that's why I missed it. However, what I want to do next is do a tad bit of work on the ports, right? And um, all of that, and uh, you guys will see what I have in mind. So yeah, let's get to do that. Rightio, so we're just out here in the area of the ports that is like um, under construction, right? And I just want to build like another airship, basically um, loading some more sand and gravel down to build up the banks. And again, I feel like uh, if we have like, you know, not too many airships, but if we have just enough, we can actually like make this city like very vibrant right and make it look like there's it's bustling about and all that stuff which which i think would make the city look very much alive which is you know something to strive for in minecraft um you definitely don't want your city to be boring and uh, static so yeah that's just one of the reasons now you might also notice that we have a functioning you know port system now uh but we're missing some ships and that is because I have never actually really built 
um, ships before in Minecraft, right? It's not something that um, I've really thought about ever, uh, not something that I've had the chance to um, build upon. Um, so do bear with me on that. Um, I am coming up with some ideas in a creative world that we could implement here. However, like um, we have a Discord server, right? And lots of you guys are there already. But um, if you could, you could just drop down some like um, ship builds, right? To um, just give me a bit of inspiration because I am struggling a little bit. And um, yeah, for those of you who are not on the Discord server, then you guys should totally consider joining it. Um, we have loads of fun in there and um, there's like build competitions that we hold. And I think the last winner was Kinjal, I believe, if I if I haven't gotten that wrong. But yeah, we have some amazing builders there like Nikki and obviously Kinjal, you know. So yeah, if that interests you guys, then make sure to join the, uh, the Discord server. It's free and, uh, well, I'm active there, so if you ever want to chat a little bit with me too, then that's the place to be. So, I think we're pretty much done with this. Let me just finish it up and show you guys the end result. Okie dokie, guys. We have finished. And here is our brand new airship. Yeah, you can see the balloon is of a different style to the other one I made. So this one is primarily green with some gray accents to make it look almost military um but yeah if you're wondering why we actually built a ship here as you can see we have some sand and gravel like uh hanging from the bottom and yeah i think that looks pretty cool if we just get around this crane yeah there we go so you can just see that we have the actual airship and then on the bottom it's also helping to offload some sand and gravel and yeah i think that looks pretty cool i'm very happy with it again Hopefully we can have a lot of airships flying around our town, making it feel alive and like it's a busy place. But unfortunately, that is just about all the time we've got for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. I'll remind you guys again that the Discord server is a fun place to be, so definitely check that out if it interests you. The link for that will be in the description. Also, consider supporting me on Patreon if you want to see me make more videos just like this one. There's another airship. Beautiful. I love it. I love how it's all looking. But yes, until next time, thank you all very much for watching and keep on building.